In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export the animation that you created in OpenTunes as a video file. And then you can upload this video file to YouTube and social media and share it with the world. This video is part of a larger 2D animation class. Among other things, we have an OpenTunes beginner tutorial in this playlist. So if you're interested in learning 2D animation from the beginning, you might want to check that out. There are two methods to get your animation exported as a video. Method one is the fast MP4 preview, which after a little bit of setup is a way to get an MP4 video file with just one click. Method two is an actual professional production workflow in which you export your shot or parts of your shot, single characters, stuff like this as an image sequence. And then you assemble this image sequence in a compositing and a video editing software from which you export your final video. I'm going to show you both methods. The first and fastest way to get an export out of OpenTunes is to click up here on render and then fast render to MP4. But if you do that for the very first time, you will notice that you get an error message. There is a version of OpenTunes called Tahoma 2D, which doesn't give you this error message because it has FFmpeg, a video encoder, already bundled with it. Video encoding is an extremely complicated process, which is why OpenTunes by default doesn't have a video encoder bundled. But we can download this external tool, FFmpeg, tell OpenTunes where it is, and then it can use that to export your video files. You need to do these following steps only once to set video export up. Our gateway to FFmpeg is the website ffmpeg.org. Here you can find a download section where you don't click on one of those big buttons up here. These give you the source code of the software, not the actual software. You want to have a compiled version of the software that you can use immediately. And you get that by selecting your operating system down here. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to choose that. And oh, the screen jumped here. We have uh, places to get the Windows version of FFmpeg from. I'm going to choose this one here, Windows Builds by BTBN. We're going to download one of the files that has a version number like this one, 4.419. And we need to make sure that it is the right version for our operating system. This means it's a Windows 64-bit system, which is what I have. And you can choose GPL instead of LGPL. So I'm going to click on that and download it. It will download a zip file. In the zip file, you'll find a folder. And this folder you need to put at a place where you can always find it because you will tell OpenTunes where it is. And you should move this folder because if you do, OpenTunes can no longer export videos. I just drag and drop it here on hard drive C. And there we have it on C, FFmpeg version 4.4, blah, blah, blah. Now we need to tell OpenTunes where FFmpeg is located. For this, you go to File, Preferences, and in the Import Export dialog, you can find this setting, FFmpeg Path. You can click here to navigate to where you have put FFmpeg. Make sure to go into the Bin folder, click Choose, and now you have to restart OpenTunes. You have to close the preference windows and quit OpenTunes and open it again. So now we're back in my animation file and I can now click on render, fast render to MP4 and it will generate a video file. As you can see, it's gonna put it on my desktop. If you don't like where OpenTunes is putting the MP4, you can also change that location in file preferences, import export, and here you can change the fast render path. And this could be anywhere else on your computer or in a Dropbox or Google Drive or something like this if you want to back up your animation in the cloud. Well, this is a fast way to export your animation and it's great to get a quick preview or 
to send your animation around really quickly. This is not how animation is exported in a professional production. If you're working on something bigger, like a whole film, I would suggest something different to you. I would suggest exporting an image sequence. And that is exactly what it sounds like. It's an export of your animation where every single frame is one image file. And video editing software, they can turn these single image files back into a video file. Now you might be wondering, why would you do that? Well, one big advantage is you don't always have to export your entire animation. If you change something in your animation after frame 200, you don't need to export frame one to 200 again. You can start your export from frame 200 onward. This can save you a lot of render time, especially on more complex projects with a lot of layers where not only open tunes, a lot of software can get a little bit slow to export. Also exporting to MP4 uses video compression and video compression always means that you lose quality, even on the highest quality settings. And there could be little compression artifacts, stuff like that, that you might not want to have in a high quality export for cinema, for example, where these artifacts would be huge on screen. By exporting image sequences, you preserve that quality for one more step of your animation workflow. You make sure that the highest possible quality comes out of OpenTunes, and then you can do whatever with that. You can make a high quality export for festivals, for presenting it on the big screen, and you can make low quality exports for the internet. So you still have the choice in the video editing software and you didn't already lose a bunch of quality. Another advantage of image formats is that you can have transparent backgrounds. You can also have that in some video formats, but you don't have that in MP4. And transparent backgrounds are important for motion design. If you animated motion graphics that you want to put on top of a video, like a lower third banner or something like this, it needs to have a transparent background. And an image export can give you that. Another reason for transparent backgrounds is that you can put your animation together in a compositing program. And there you might want to have your background and every single character separately. You can export separate image sequences per character and then put them together in a compositing software like After Effects. To export an image sequence, you also have to go into the render menu. And there we first should have a look at the output settings. Most of this should be the same as your project. You want to make sure, unless you are exporting a quick preview for some reason, that the pixel resolution is the same. You want to make sure that the frame rate is the same. And the biggest choice that you can still make is what image format you want to export your animation as. You should not choose JPEG because that has the same problem as MP4. It will degrade your quality. And even on the highest quality, if you look closely, you might find uh, compression artifacts and stuff like this. Formats like TIFF and TGA are lossless, but they are huge. You probably don't want to save in these formats unless you have a lot of hard disk space. My format of choice is PNG. PNG only does a file-based data compression and doesn't touch your image. Within the frame of what PNG can save, it's pretty much lossless. You have the highest possible quality, but you're saving a lot of disk space. So that's a good deal for me. So I'm gonna choose PNG. And you can see where it's gonna save it. It's gonna save it in the outputs folder of your project. OpenTunes is saving everything in a project. And in this project folder, if you haven't chosen a project, you find it in the sandbox folder. There is an output folder where you will find your export. But this also means that OpenTunes will always overwrite your export. So if you want to preserve different states of your animation, for example, for a making of to show how your animation came along, uh, you might from time to time want to get the image sequence out of there. So in my case, this is fine. I want to save it in the outputs folder. I hit render and now it's saving every single frame uh, to this folder.
We also get a little preview. One thing that I always like to check is um, if I'm working with transparency, in this case, it's not really important, but if you animate a logo and you have something like an overlay, you might want to check if um, the PNG is actually transparent and that there's nothing in the background. So I just navigated to the project folder and here we find the outputs and this is our image sequence. One important thing to keep in mind is the frame rate of your export. Once you exported your animation as an image sequence, there's no information there about the frame rate. You just have the individual frames. If you import it somewhere, you need to tell that program what frame rate it's supposed to play these images in. If for some reason you need to send the image sequence to someone, you can always move one folder up and zip this folder and send that and put that into the cloud. Now, last but not least, let me show you how to assemble this in a free video editing software called DaVinci Resolve. Here we are in DaVinci. I'm going to create a new project. The first thing we have to make sure is that our project settings match. You need to go to file project settings. And yeah, everything seems to be in order. The resolution is the same. The frame rate is the same. This is extremely important because DaVinci Resolve or any video editing software doesn't know the frame rate that an image sequence has unless you tell it what the frame rate is. So we check this, this is good. And we can also create a new timeline. And this timeline also needs to have the same settings. Now we can double check the timeline settings to make sure, yeah, it's also 24 frames per second because we're using project settings. Wonderful. Now there's one problem in DaVinci Resolve. If you are in the cut or media workspace, it won't recognize your image sequence as a sequence. So if I go in and I drag my images into DaVinci, just drag and drop, you will see that it imports every single image as one image. We want the software to understand this as one video file made out of these individual files. So we need to undo that and we need to switch to the edit workspace. And in the edit workspace, we can just drag and drop just like we did before, but now it's not importing it as individual images, it's importing it as a video file that we can just drop in the timeline. And because I'm super paranoid, I also want to check the clip settings here by right clicking, going to clip attributes. And here we can check if the frame rate is indeed 24 frames per second, but it all seems to be in order. And if we hit play, you can see that it plays our animation. Now, because the PNGs are transparent, this does not have a background. So I could put a background image behind here to have our animation appear in front of a background or, you know, export it from open tunes with a non-transparent background. That's also an option. If you were cutting an actual animation film, you would now add your animation shots one by one and this way assemble your entire film. To export this, you can switch to the deliver workspace in DaVinci Resolve. And here it's already set to give us an MP4, an H.264 export, similar to what OpenTunes is exporting when you use the fast MP4 export. If you want to save a little bit in file size, if you want to send around a preview of your film, you might want to switch the quality to be a little bit lower or you might want to choose an AAC audio codec instead of PCM. But yeah, for video, in most cases, you should probably stick to the H.264 codec. And that's it. That's how you export your animation from OpenTunes. If you want to learn even more and you want to support this channel, please check out our Skillshare tutorials. We have one where you learn about the physics of animation and how to create this character animation with the orc and the goblin hitting each other. We also have this brand new class teaching you how to do motion design, a logo animation like this one in OpenTunes. We also have a Patreon and one of the coolest things there is a monthly mentoring session. If you join the 
group mentoring tier on Patreon, you can be there for a group mentoring call every month. You can bring whatever you're currently working on, an animation, a drawing, a demo reel, a story idea, and show it to the group, get feedback from me or another professional mentor. I'm gonna draw over it, look at it frame by frame, and give you advice on how to improve your projects or your skills in general. So that is the group mentoring on Patreon. If that sounds interesting to you, please check that out as well. I also want to thank my current Patreons very much. Thank you, Thomas Karolin and Quinty Imara. And I thank you, everyone, for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And as always, keep on animating.